Pro retinol that no particles, stability, release, efficacy, and irritation. This research was carried out by Kilat Longhorn University, in collaboration with Amity Boat B Hospital. Vitamin B and its naturally occurring and synthetic derivatives such as retinol, retinoic acid, retinol acetate, retinol palmitate, collectively referred to as retinoids, are required for many critical biological processes. Retinoids display key regulatory functions in epidermal growth and differentiation. The materials can increase the epidermal thickness, decrease wrinkling, roughness, and uneven melanin synthesis in human skin. Retinoids are therefore potent bioactive agents for anti-aging effect. However, retinoids possess two serious drawbacks. First, topical use of retinoid usually causes a dose-related broad side effects including skin irritations such as burning and stratum corneum peeling. Second, retinoids are normally unstable. Degradations from auto-oxidation and photo-oxidation normally take place. We propose here that a strategy to supply retinoids to skin at a steady amount, with no overdosing period, should help lessening side effects. Thus, controlled release system that can slowly and continuously supply skin with retinoids should be an answer for the topical use of these compounds. Here we have fabricated pro retinol that no particles or PRN that are stable and can sustainably release retinol at skin pH. We have obtained pro retinol that no particles with a retinol loading of 35% weight by weight. The size of the dry particles is 240 nanometer. The size of hydrated particles is 373 nanometer. When kept at 40 degrees Celsius, in water, under light and oxygen exposure, our pro retinol that no particles are five times more stable than free retinol. When kept as aqueous suspension at 25 degrees Celsius under light proof condition for eight months, the PRN showed less than 10% deterioration of the retinoid whereas the free retinol degradation was more than 90%. We tested the irritation of retinoid that no particles through daily application to skin of rats for a period of 28 days. The result showed no irritation for water and our PRN, whereas the retinoic acid and retinol showed severe irritation. We also biopsied the rat's skin to study the epidermal thickness. Skin supplied daily with water showed the thinnest epidermis. Retinoic acid and retinol produced increased epidermal thickness comparing to water. Our PRN gave the highest thickness of epidermis. When tested under occlusion conditions in human volunteers, insignificant skin irritation was observed for the PRN. The 12-week, double-blind, split-face study on human volunteers indicates better anti-aging efficacy of our pro-retinol that no particles as compared to the free retinoic acid. In summary, we show here that the chemically stable pro-retinol that no particles which can sustainable release retinol at skin pH, can maximally stimulate epidermal proliferation with no skin irritation, 